The Unforgiving Servant Peter asked Jesus a question one day. If my friend does something to hurt me, how many times do I have to forgive him? As many as seven times? Jesus' answer must have surprised Peter. Not just seven times, he replied, but seventy times seven times, which was a lot of times. 499 times if you do the maths. It was probably just Jesus' way of saying that the friend should be forgiven as many times as necessary, without limit. That's why Jesus went on to tell Peter a parable, a parable that went something like this. A certain king discovered that one of his servants owed him a huge amount of money, so he had the servant brought to him. You owe me a huge amount of money, roared the king. Not just hundreds of coins, not just thousands, but millions and millions. The servant trembled with fear. He knew what the king would do. I will sell you as a slave, roared the king, and your wife and children, and your little dog too, and everything else you own until the debt is paid. The servant fell to his knees and pleaded. Have patience, he cried. Give me more time and I will pay back everything I owe. The king looked at the servant. The king crossed his arms. The king thought and thought and thought. And finally, the king said something that must have surprised the servant. I will cancel the debt, said the king. You owe me nothing. You may go. The servant leapt to his feet and shouted, Hooray! But as he went on his way, he met another servant. A servant who owed him money. Not a lot of money. Hardly any at all, in fact. Just a tiny bit. The first servant grabbed the second one by the throat and choked him. And choked him. And choked him. Pay me what you owe, he shouted. The second servant fell to his knees and pleaded. Have patience, he cried. Give me more time and I will pay back everything I owe. But the first servant had no mercy. I will have you thrown into prison, he shouted, until your debt is paid. And that's what he did. What he did not know was that the other servants were watching. They went and told the king. And when the king heard what had happened, he had the first servant brought to him again. You are a wicked servant, he roared. I cancelled your debt. You should have shown the same mercy. Then the king had that servant thrown into the jail until his debt was paid. And that's what God will do, Jesus added, if we do not forgive those who hurt us.